It's Booty Quake here from Roller Derby Athletics. Today's workout is high intensity interval training. Guys, I'm pumped to share this workout with you today because I've got a few new and different moves in here that you probably haven't seen before that are just kind of figments of my imagination. And also, I've got one great move in here that is a reverse burpee, otherwise known as a rollback. Now, part of why that's in here is because I have a crappy wrist injury, so I can't put any weight on my hand, so you're all free from push-ups until I get better. But you're not free from working hard. So we're gonna do these rollbacks, these reverse burpees, and stick around to the end because I will show you some modifications and uh, how to do them a little bit differently to suit your physical abilities. Here's what the workout is gonna look like. We are doing eight one minute intervals. Those intervals are 45 minutes of work and 15 seconds of rest. So if you've got an interval timer, like Seconds Pro, use that, set it up, and get it going on those repeat cycles of 45 seconds and 15 seconds. We're gonna alternate really cardio intensive and lower body intensive jumping exercises with core exercises. So this whole workout is going to make you a very well-rounded roller derby athlete with a strong core, agility, power in your legs. It's gonna be awesome. Are you ready? Let's check it out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before we get started, of course, we have to warm up. So please spend a few minutes getting your heart rate up and moving your limbs through a range of motion. If you are an all-star subscriber, make sure that you go down on this post on the website and check out your link to the full uh, real-time follow-along video for this and the other all-star premium content that you get with this workout. Everybody else, let's get warmed up and have at it.
Reverse burpees are a great alternative to regular burpees, especially if you have an upper body injury or if for some physical reason, burpees are not working out for you. There's lots of ways to modify this exercise as well to make it work for different body types and different abilities and still make it a really challenging exercise. So let's just go through it from start to finish. Here's the basic version. I'm gonna start with a squat jump. Then I'm going to roll back onto my back and use my abs to propel myself back up onto my feet. Here we go. And when I get my balance back, I'm gonna go back into a second squat jump. So here it is at full speed. Okay, see I'm out of breath already just after doing two or three. So there's lots of ways to break this exercise down and make it a little bit simpler. So let's start with the rollback. The rollback can be challenging for anyone who has neck problems potentially. So if that's you and you're not comfortable rolling right back up onto your shoulders like that, then I would suggest simply doing a sit up. And that is still super great. Next part that is really challenging about this exercise is propelling yourself back up onto your heels. You should be using your core and your abs to do that. So part of it is momentum from here, and part of it is sheer force of will in your abs. And it's something that will come over time if you're not getting it just yet today. So keep working on it. Now, if you can't get up there without your hands, there's a couple different um, modifications you can do. Especially if you're doing the sit-up version. You can simply put your hands back and give yourself a little boost into that position. Or another way to modify is to put one knee down. So you're just gonna cross one foot under and then use your abs again and a little bit of counterbalancing with your hands to get up to one knee. Then you can go back into the rest of the exercise and back down. Be sure that you're gonna switch feet each time you do this so you're not always going up on one foot or the other. You can also still, as I just did, use your hands to give you a little boost on that knee down version. Okay, so without the hands like that, or with a little extra boost like that. And then finally, the final way you can modify this exercise is to eliminate the squat jump. So you'll just get yourself up to a squat position, come up and come back down to a nice squat again before you go back. You can also, if you're uncomfortable, if you have tailbone issues, of course, just use your hand to lower yourself down and do a sit up. So there's a whole bunch of ways that you can modify reverse burpees or rollbacks to work for you, whatever your physical abilities are. Okay, I'm super out of breath. That workout was really challenging, both on the lungs, on the legs, lots of squat jumps and of course on the core. Good for you for trying this one out. And if you want to check out lots and lots more free roller derby specific workouts, come to rollerderbyathletics.com. Visit the training resources page. There's tons of free stuff on there. Okay, if you're an All-Star subscriber, don't forget to check out your premium All-Star content where you get a handout and a full follow along video for this. Thanks for watching. I'm Booty Quick, I just kicked your ass, now you can go kick somebody else's.